Mater University Hospital is a major university teaching hospital here in Ireland and is a designated major cancer centre here in Ireland, seeing all the major solid tumour cancers in the numbers of the order of several hundred per annum. We have a fantastic case mix of complex cases as well. Uh, our colleagues are all very high calibre, nursing staff, surgical colleagues, and I suppose we're seen as a, a major cancer centre in this country. We have had a research output on the subject of cancer and anaesthesia. We would like to think that we have contributed to the development of the new subspecialty of onco-anesthesiology, which is concerned with optimising perioperative care and evaluating whether our perioperative interventions have longer term outcomes in cancer patients. Obviously we're trying to deal with cancer from my point of view and very much part of that is the body's immune system and obviously we know that anaesthesia has an effect on that, morphine has an effect on that. So the feeling is that anything that we can do to try and reduce those stress levels in patients, the surgical stress and the anaesthetic stress is going to be a benefit for them hopefully. The stress response associated with surgery causes some degree of immunosuppression and therefore you're creating a sort of perfect storm where any remaining tumour cells would have optimum conditions to multiply and grow in. So our job is about minimising that stress response or minimising those conditions that allow tumour cells to take hold elsewhere in the body at the time of surgery. Cancer biology is quite complex. Surgeons have done their job in terms of trying to help this. Oncologists are doing their job in trying to developing chemotherapy agents and therapies for this. I think it's our role at this moment because we do have the science and we do have laboratory data to try to help us coming with meaningful protocols from an anesthesia point of view that could be useful towards the benefit of these patients. Certainly in breast cancer, we're curing over 80% of our patients now, and any benefits are going to be of the 1-2% variety. But every, each little 1 or 2% that we can get in benefit of that is going to be of help. We managed to enrol more than 2,000 women in a breast cancer trial, evaluating whether paravertebral numbing regional anaesthesia affected cancer occurrence differently from women who had had the same surgery but with standard vapour volatile general anaesthesia with morphine based pain relief. And we found robust equivalent findings, results which were recently published in The Lancet. The Vapour C clinical trial will compare in a randomised prospective controlled trial propofol intravenous anaesthesia with sevoflurane volatile inhaled anaesthesia and at the same time, patients randomised to each of those two arms will also receive a lidocaine infusion perioperatively or not. And this particular trial design has been chosen because of our experimental and clinical observational studies over the past 10 years. We're going to look at lung cancers and colorectal cancer. Cancers are very different between themselves. The cancer biology is extremely complex, so I think there is still going to be a lot of work to do to test our, our, our theory until we are going to find those particular types of cancer that we can meaningfully control and influence um, the outcome of our patients. I am co-principal investigator along with our lead principal investigator Professor Bernhard Riedel from the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre and we have obtained some funding to begin this Vapor C trial from Australia but we're seeking to expand it into Europe and we need funding to do so. We're hoping that cancer centres who see uh, several hundred colorectal and non-small cell lung cancers each year would put their hands up and volunteer to join us to enrol nearly 6,000 patients over the next five years or so to evaluate this clinical question. The biggest part of my role is with patient care um, when they first arrive um, either into preoperative assessment or even on the day of their surgery I go to meet the patients and I ensure that they understand the actual research that I'm proposing that they and inviting them to participate in. All of that's really important in, in the anaesthetic area that we have a nurse who can actually consent patients because the anaesthetists at times are in theatre. So if we didn't have this partnership, research in anaesthetics, particularly in the theatre environment, it could quite, quite badly be, it could be curtailed. The management of cancer is changing year by year 
um, we're getting all these short-term benefits, we need to see the long-term benefit. And I'm quite convinced that our immune system is very much part and integral to how we are going to you know, respond to that cancer. And I think anything that we can do to help support that or to benefit that or not damage that even, you know, is important in the management of these patients. In the event that there are positive findings in this regard with any particular technique, then there really is a quantum change in the perioperative care of cancer patients for the future because it offers an immediate benefit to patients in the short term which is entirely compatible with existing established treatments of cancer therapy but it also offers the potential societal benefit of cost savings. We believe that whatever the ultimate findings of our ongoing clinical trials this is a crucially important question for our specialty, for our patients and for society in general. And in the event of positive findings, the potential to improve perioperative care of cancer patients going into the future is immense.